Hey, us. Okay, well, uh, let's get started, I guess. I don't have a huge amount to go over today, but we'll see how it goes. Um, so, starting off with uh, what has become our usual kickoff, um, current viewer release candidates, we have the... Uh, another iteration of the interest list viewer, um, the fitted mesh viewer, and the HTTP viewer. Um, so fitted mesh, other than the new skeleton and a few small changes in there that were made for that and a collection of mostly minor snowstorm contributions, uh, there's not there's not a lot in there, that is. Um, so it's uh, it's it's out there, and um, we believe it's in the final form. So uh, anyone who wants to experiment with um, merging that skeleton into other viewers, uh, even without the the um, the accompanying code changes, uh, feel free. Um, I the reports I've had so far is that just dropping those the avatar the two avatar skeleton files uh, into older viewers seems to mostly work uh, and at least eliminates the uh, clothes getting stretched to the southwest corner of the region problem. Yeah, I was that. That issue with close getting stretched, it's not just with fitted mesh, it's with any rigged mesh. Uh, it, 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 uh, it affects things that aren't rigged to the new bones? Yep, it's any kind yeah. of rigged mesh. A number of, the, a number of our team have been testing it on your, on your viewer and uh, it's a total mess. Well, let me... Let me clarify. It's they've been they've been testing on what viewer? The release candidate. The fitted mesh release candidate. That's out. Well, on that viewer, nothing should be stretched. Well, it is. Go and look on the child. Uh, is there an issue filed on it? I believe Worley filed an issue on it. Um, Unfortunately, uh, Worley's still not at home yet, so. Okay. Well, I'll I look for that after for we're done. Somebody else on the team here might, us. Yeah, I'm looking back through Skype to see if I can find it. So you are seeing on the new release candidate for fitted mesh, if you use an older rigged mesh, you get this touching effect uh, uh, a mesh that doesn't have the new bones yes no well I'll look for the issue 
Um, it it may be that there's not a lot we can do about that. We'll see. Um, but that's worth finding out. All it always seems to reproduce on ATI cards, as far as we can tell. Well, I, I don't really understand why that would make a difference. But... Uh, whoever that was talking, it was breaking up too much for me to follow. That's the issue there. That's, uh, so fit mesh 20 is not about things being stretched incorrectly. All right, well. No, the one that we were talking about um, was with ALM disabled on ATI cards. It created the stretching to uh, basically region zero, you know, zero, zero, zero on the region. Hmm. Okay. Uh, well, uh, I I had it on my list to dig into that, the those ATI issues anyway. So I will certainly make sure that those get looked at again before we promote this. Um, uh, let's see. Other ones are interest lists. Um, the let me bring up my cohorts display here so that I can. Uh, as far as I can tell, that one has gotten over its, the, at least the worst of its crashing problems. It's now exhibiting a pretty normal crash rate, actually better than the than the release viewer. Um, but it hasn't accumulated a lot of hours yet, so it's it's getting there. Uh, but that's that's looking a lot better now. Uh, than it was. And HTTP moved from being a project viewer to being a release candidate. Um, so, you know, experience with that would be would be great to get back, especially if you can steer anybody who was previously experiencing the DNS problems uh, and had put in place the, the use Google DNS workaround. Um, we believe that this will uh, largely or completely fix those problems. So, or at least we're hopeful that that's true. Uh, let's see other other ones that are out there. There's a there's a um, merchant outbox project viewer that's various fixes for. Um, problems with the merchant outbox, and there are going to be more iterations of that. I'm pretty sure. Um, and all the usual ones that we've been talking about are still out there and pending. We have um, there there will be another spin of Google Breakpad at some point. Um, it it turns out that we've we've found some of the problems with. Our crash reporting were actually on the server end, so we're we're fiddling with those uh, a little bit until we before we respin the the viewer. Uh, and um, I haven't gotten an update on the status of group bands lately. Uh, I know that the current I, I I wasn't able to check on the status of the repository um, and. Uh, Sunshine and Oculus Rift are both in the pipeline to produce viewers at some point pretty soon. So um, that's all, all coming. Lots going on, and uh, that's happening. 
Um, the AIS V3 load testing, we'd like to wait until we've got more third-party viewers that have ported the, the viewer side code to do some load testing. So when you've got experimental versions that you think are ready to test, please let me know and we'll reschedule some resources to do that with. Um, so that's that. And I think that pretty much covers the agenda I had. So the floor is open. I'd just like to suggest that you uh, uh, chain Baker to a desk or a computer. <laughs> well, I'm 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 going out to San Francisco the first week in February, so uh, I will I will make a point to wander by his his desk uh, and see what's up with that. If if I don't get anything before then, I will certainly do it that week. That one definitely falls into the category of things that turned out to be a lot more complicated than we thought. Uh, yeah, I assumed if it had been really simple, you, uh, Linden Lab would have dealt with it long ago. But uh... I have not heard anyone suggest that we give up on it, uh, so it's it's still it's still a project. I I always get slightly confused with this uh, release policy. Now that uh, fitted mesh is in a release candidate, that's a fair game to incorporate into third-party viewers, isn't it? Yes, uh, I mean you you'll want to keep track of the of you know what what fixes we apply on that branch um uh you know during the release candidate phase and um you, know, you may or may not have additional merge difficulties if you merge things in in a different order than we do um i mean if you want the easy if you want the easy path let us do the merges between the between the candidate branches as they go to fewer release and then you'll get the merges in the same order and we'll have done them but um, you know, depending on it, it's, uh, it's certainly once it's in release candidate, it's in a second life release viewer. So it's, it's perfectly clear okay. to, to use it. Well, we don't, in singularity, we don't merge a viewer directly anyway. So right, right. I, I, I realize that some, some viewers that's more important than others. Uh, but. Even if you don't, you know, if you want to do them in a different order, that's that's fine with us. Uh, they're they're announced and supported features at that point. So once they're in a, a release candidate viewer, so I think we'll be making a release towards the end of next week or something like that. So it would be nice since the, our releases are not that often. It would be nice to include uh, fitted mesh bits in this one. Yes. Yes. Well, at the very least, including the skeleton files should be helpful. Um, there were a few code changes in the renderer, but um, and I don't know, you know, how important they are because I'm not up on that. But uh, related to that, does anybody know where one can find examples of uh, fitted mesh garments for testing? She has uh, some that are full permission, I mean transferable. Okay, there, thanks. There are there are some of the older ones that don't use the new bones on the, on the quite a few actually on the marketplace. Um, I don't, yeah, I know, I don't but, know but how many. It would be nice to test with, uh, with some items that have the new bones. Right. Yes, I agree. Uh, I have a I have a leather jacket. I'm gonna. I'm planning on contacting the 
the creator of and ask him to produce a, a fitted version of it. Uh, As usual, if Jessica's not here, it's very quiet. And, and, you get, and, and usually you get to go home early. <laughs> yep. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. It is Friday, after all. Knocking off early doesn't hurt a bit on Fridays. So Hope's got a question in local for you. Oh, uh... Do the new bones get munched automatically to match an existing shape? Uh, I guess I don't understand the question. I mean, if the shape is one that you've... It, it's an avatar shape where you've fooled with the sliders, then... Um, yeah, they... Uh, then they... You know, those slider things have the right effect with respect to the, the new bones. Because the new bone mirror something was already there, basically. Right. It should hope. Yes, I, I, I believe it. It should. Yes. That, that was certainly the intent. So let us know if it turns out not to be true. Yeah, I've, I saw the FitMesh 6 comments. I wasn't, I wasn't connecting those with what other people were saying. So, um, I don't think I have a system with an ATI card in it here, but I'm sure QA has plenty. And I wonder if it's, I wonder if it's, if it's all, uh, if it's all of them or just some, some of them. I'll have to try to get people to characterize that. I've got a GS8400, you can have G for one of your ATIs. I'd get the better of the deal. Okay, well, if we haven't got anything else to talk about, we can all go home. Woohoo, party time. Have a good one, Oz, and thank you. Have a good weekend, everybody.
Take care. Bye, all. I think this was Pause. the record. Have you heard anything about the way open? Like the uh, uh, installer changes? Uh, sorry, you're overdriving your mic a bit there. I didn't quite catch that.